Hello everyone, welcome to Ruby Savings. I'm here again with another great video from the church food drive through that they have on Fridays. These are the items that I received today. I wanted to start by thanking everybody who is here on my channel and for those who are going to come. Thank you to all of my new subscribers. I hope you enjoy this video. And I encourage you to look at some of my other videos that I put out over here. We save from grocery store shopping with couponing, uh, discount grocery stores, food pantries, CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, Publix, wherever you can use a coupon. If you need clothes, we go to the Goodwill outlet. It's always very many avenues out there that you can use to save and keep some money put in your pocket. So I appreciate everyone coming over to my channel. And let's see what I got today. This right here is stuffed jalapeno peppers. Uh, wrapped in bacon. I'm not going to keep those. Uh, I like jalapeno, but they're uh, way too spicy for me. So I'm going to give it to someone who could definitely enjoy it. Then over here, I got these here from Publix. Green wise maple chipotle glazed boneless chicken breast. I'm going to take these and use some baking soda and water and soak this so that it can pull out the chipotle. And then I'm going to go back and boil it a little bit, most likely for a few minutes. And then I'm going to cut it up and prepare it as I choose to. But I've been wanting some chicken breast. I got it. I'm going to make this work. Over here, I have a Cornish hen. The, the sell-by date is 525. Today is 526. This here, Cornish hen, is going to be so delicious. My daughter-in-law, mom, made Cornish hens a while back. I had not had any in, I don't even know how long, but it was absolutely delicious. And I don't mind repeating the process to enjoy it again. Over here... I have some Purdue Shortcuts 100% all-natural grilled chicken strips. So this can be used for fajitas or maybe whatever you, or salads or whatever you choose to use for. But it's a quick and easy way with a, a good um, amount of chicken in this pack um, to have at least maybe two, three uh, little meals out of it. And then over here, we have meal for one chicken cordon bleu. This here is also from Publix. This is the chicken itself already seasoning. Normally, when I get my meat that's already seasoning, I take it and I wash it and clean it up. And then I go on and re-seasoning. Or sometimes I don't even keep it. But because it's from Publix, I'm going to keep this here. I'm just going to re-season it because I like to wash my meat off in vinegar. And then here are the potatoes that go on the side. That should make for a tasty meal. Now over here, what I was showing you when you first uh, start looking at the video, look at this member's mark sockeye salmon skin on filet this right here came from sam's club look at this big piece of salmon if this was the only thing that i received this was worth going up to sam's i'm gonna either give this to my son if he if his family does not want it then i'll find someone else to give it to i cannot eat seafood i really been tempted to try just a smidgen of fish to see because sell, shellfish and regular uh, fish are somewhat different. So, and it's been some years. I thought maybe that someone prepared some. I may just take a little taste to see how my body reacts to it. But I definitely want to, hopefully my son wants it. If not, I'll have to um, pass it along in this beautiful. Then the next thing I got right here um, is Celery. And I got two bags of five-pound potatoes, an apple, a bag of maple bourbon bacon chopped kit. It was a salad kit. That looks really good. And then I have over here is a Rana skillet nochi. 
So I'm going to try that. I've had Nochi before and I enjoy it the best when I go over to, what do you call it? Olive Guard with the Nochi soup. I have a lovely cabbage. And over here, I have baby spinach. So you see this baby spinach and the tomatoes and the celery? Well, I have another video that will be coming out pretty soon where I did a Walmart pickup. And these were items that I picked up because this is what I use a lot of times to make my uh, vegetable, uh, vegetable juice Gotta get myself together with this here because I'd be forgetting what I'm about to say. But yeah, these here were for my vegetable juice. So now I have enough to probably carry me through to uh, probably the end of next month, especially with this big thing, the celery. I think it also came from um, Sam's Club. Okay, and then over here, mm -hmm. I have this piece of this came from um, Walmart. And it also has jalapeno on it. It's a uh, chicken nacho. I may be able to eat just a little smidgen taste of the jalapeno on this here. But this is a nice little piece of the half. I may put this in the oven for this evening. Then I, over here, I have 11 grain uh, white uh, pan bread. It's been three to four months that I have not bought bread. The only, and the reason I say bread, I'm talking about loaf bread. I have purchased, I have, um, no, not purchased. I have received from the uh, discount grocery store some free English muffins. And I like the Thomas, um, what do you call it? Little bagels, bagel thins. That's what I've been using for my bread. But since I have plenty of cheese, I think I'm going to use this here to make me just keep this around because it's a healthy bread and at least have a slice of it and make me a sandwich because in that Walmart pickup, I also have some Hormel, Hormel ham and some Swiss cheese. So I'll probably take a slice of that and uh, make myself a nice sandwich with that. And then over here, I have some dessert, the triple chocolate and strawberry muffins. Look at this right here. These right here came from Walmart. So thankful to Walmart and Sam's today for all of these great goodies and, of course, Publix. But these here items are donated in the community to churches and other local organizations to go back and feed the community. There is no cost to you. So I always encourage everyone to find you a place that you can pick you up some items and save you some money. It helps with the grocery budget and it offsets some other things that you may need to do by being able to save money. And if I did mention, I did get these canned uh, green beans from my job where we had a few months back a drive through um, grocery giveaway. But guys, this is what I received today. Did I say anything about my little apple? Yeah, well, here, this is my little apple. I just look around the table. This is everything that I received today with the exception of getting the green beans yesterday. And I am very thankful. And the fact that I got so much meat uh, is partly because last week, the food drive through church was not open because they didn't have enough people to drive the uh, the truck. I mean, to do to drive the truck, pick up the food, and to set up and give the food to people. So they really made up for it this week, and I am totally thankful. Guys, thank you so much for coming to my channel. Remember that life is not always going to be perfect. Sometimes the people that are the closest to you can keep you on your knees praying. But always look back and say, God, what can I do to change the situation? What did I do to contribute to the situation? Ask God to forgive you, forgive others, and take it one day at a time because there is this such thing called a healing process. It don't happen overnight. But always 
Remember that God is there for you. He will forgive you of your sin. He will help you through any battle or any challenge. And one thing that I always try to tell the devil, slap him in the face, says, no matter what, I'm going to continue to pray for whomever that I have a little complication with at that time. And I'm also going to ask God to show me me because we live on this earth. None of us are perfect. And we ask God to redeem us, to forgive us and to guide us because we want to represent who he is. We want to walk in the good way that he showed us with the perfect with the right attitude. We'll never be perfect, but with the right attitude because he was a perfect example. Guys, all the new subscribers, thank you guys. And all my faithful subscribers, hip hip parade. I thank everybody that's building this family up more and more. Thank you guys for this uh, being here with me today. And please leave a comment. God bless you. And I pray, pray health and strength and prosperity with safety over you and your family. Stay encouraged and know if nobody loves you, Jesus loves you.